group by Stokes theorem, again we go from a surface integral to a contour integral, or we have an integral transform between a surface and a contour integral. So, a contour, the magnetic intensity projected onto a path element. to our earlier surface integral so what's more what we need to do in terms of Stokes theorem is to apply uh, a loop so there's our boundary as before Because remember, Stokes theorem connects a surface integral and a contour integral. <coughs> so here's the contour. The closed contour makes the bounds of an area. Here's the, the area that we're concerned with. And then you've got the, the closed contour uh, C. And it can have a length. Delta S, in, and, and again you can have a path length, but the idea is you want the action of a limit, and the limit closes down this area so that all we're considering in the end is what happens immediately over one side of the boundary compared to the other. So the limit, as Delta sigma goes to zero. On our closed path of operation that you do on this side of the contour on these sides is going to be cancelled identically with the oppositely directed action on the other side of the loop. So you effectively get cancellation on these two opposite arms loop, but you can't get cancellation between these horizontal or tangential components with respect to the boundary, because material behaviour here is not going to be identical to material response behaviour here. So that Material behaviour here cancels material behaviour there because they're on the same side of the boundary and likewise you get cancellation on that part of the arm and that part of the arm because they're oppositely directed. But you can't say that for these two 